Hey guys, Cameron here from HowToBeExtraordinary.com and today we're going over uh, the second screencast series in my uh, How to Use Evernote tutorial series. Uh, and this screencast is going to be all about uh, notes and how to use notes and all the little ins and outs of, of the notes aspect of, of Evernote. And since Evernote is basically all about creating new notes, I figured we should do that first. So uh, here we are, and we're going to talk about notes. Uh, the first thing that I want to go over is how you view your notes. There's three different views um, in Evernote. I am on the mixed view right now, where you have the note on the right side, and you have uh, all the other notes in uh, on this column right here and so there's a couple of ways that you can um, view your notes uh, in this in this way so if you click on this tab up here it's saying right now that my notes are uh, being organized by uh, last updated so what you can do to change that is click on here and you can choose how you want your notes to be uh, to be viewed. So you can uh, do by title, which would sort your notes by, uh, uh, by al alphabetically. So if you see that, and I have it uh, on reverse sort order. So if you want it alphabetically, it's going to uh, show you all the numbered um, things first and then it's going to go through uh, the uh, by, by the alphabet. A lot of my titles have number signs and, and kind of some weird things that I use to organize my notes so it kind of looks a little funky here but uh, if you just have uh, regular letters it'll just go A, B, C uh, all the way through Z and like I just had, you can uh, change the uh, the sort order to, to opposite. And uh, so the other options are you can uh, sort your notes by the date created, date updated, URL, and size. So like I said, I like to use the updated ones. That just means that I, I, I've been using that note and I kind of want it at the top because it's kind of the last thing on my mind. Um, so the other view besides mixed view is list view which is a little bit different and doesn't have that um, that thumbnail view that uh, mixed view has and it changes uh, into rows instead of columns I guess is what I think about it anyway so your note is down here and uh, your list of notes are, are up above and they're all in here I'm on uh, all notebooks so this is every single note that I've created. And then the last view is a uh, thumbnail view. And this just shows you kind of a little thumbnail of what's inside of your note. Um, I don't really find this very useful, but uh, you might. So I'm going to go back to uh, the mixed view. And right now let's let's just go over the basics, the basic anatomy, I guess you call it, of a note. So every note is made up. Well, actually, let me first show you how to uh, create a new note. So you can either click this button up here, it says new note, or you can do Apple N or Control N if you have a PC to create a new note. Now, inside of the note, you're going to have a place to put a, ti a title. So you can just say whatever you want. You can choose whichever notebook you want this to go in. So right now it's in my unorganized notebook. I can change that to any other notebook that I want to go in. Uh, you can also associate this note with a URL. So you can just pop in a URL right there. And you can also insert tags. And we're going to go over tags in a couple uh, future screencasts. Um, Evernote has you know, pretty much all the basic text editing features that you need um, when writing in Evernote. So you can change the, uh, the font style, you can change the size, 
you can change the color and you can bold you can italicize and you can underline just like any other text editor um, you can also change if you want it left center right and full justify something I use a lot in Evernote is lists so you can create bolded lists and you can create numbered lists so for example uh, if I wanted to start a list just uh, click the button there and I can just start making a list here and if you want to you can um, uh, you, you know you can do uh, uh, something like that and then you can uh, you can indent as many times as you want to create your list and you can keep on doing that uh, to go back a little trick I have is um, to click on shift tab and that will send you right back and if you click enter you'll get rid of it so if we go back here um, if we're if we want to just keep on going we'd have to write something in here to keep the list going otherwise if you click enter it'll go back for you or you can do the uh, you can do the, uh, the shift tab to go back and to, if you want to go in just hit tab so I find making lists really useful in, the, in Evernote is something I do a lot um, Another cool feature is to create a, uh, a checkbox like for to do's or, or, or whatever you want. So you can, you know, you can write in your to do's for the day or you can make make lists that way. And the cool thing is you can uh, click that and it'll, it'll check it off for you. So that's an interesting feature that you can use in Evernote. Um, another thing is you can make tables and you can insert a horizontal line. I find this really useful for um, separating my notes into different sections. Um, so if you could just click that, it'll just have this horizontal line that'll go through and separate your, your, your notes in half or in thirds or however, however you want them really. And then you can also attach documents. Um, you have to have the premium feature to do uh, like PowerPoints or Excel docs or Word docs but you can insert PDFs which uh, which I find pretty useful too so yeah that is the basic structure of notes in Evernote uh, one last feature that I want to show you is how to email a note to somebody um, so I'm just gonna get rid of this real quick and I'm gonna have a prep note for you guys so right here we have uh, my title, I wrote an example of an, uh, an email note, and I wrote in the body, this is only a, a test. And so what you want to do to email this to somebody is you go up here to this button, click email, you pop in the email address, so I'm going to just send it to myself. You can CC yourself on this too as well. And then you just click send. There it goes. And if you go to your email account, it'll be right here. So you'll have uh, the cool thing about uh, uh, emailing people is, is they don't have to have Evernote. You can just send this to anybody you want. Um, so right up here it has, you know, uh, the title is your subject line. And then it'll have uh, the subject again, which is kind of weird. And then it'll have what you had in the body of your note here and I just have this is only a test and the only thing that the person sees is that it was from Evernote and they can click on this go to evernote.com sign up if they want so it's not really a huge salesy pitch um, from Evernote when you send people notes so yeah that's the basic structure of notes in Evernote um, if you have any questions leave a comment um, and the next tutorial series is going to be on uh, notebooks then after that tags so you definitely want to stick around for those and check those out. Uh, tags and notebooks are the main way you uh, organize your notes with an Evernote, which is, is why, uh, and, and like we said, organization can be really tough in Evernote. And um, if you get tags down and no notebooks down, it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, thanks guys for checking this out, and I'll see you next time.